Miss, I know it is a lot to take in, but we have to look at the bright side. We don't see many patients with injuries like theirs. They got really lucky to even survive. So... <laughs> so is their memory lost forever? We can't tell you that. Their injuries were pretty severe. If they get lucky, they will regain their memory. I'm really sorry, but we did everything we could. Now, if you excuse me. Oh, hey. Shh, relax. Doctor said that it will take time for you to recover. You need to rest a lot. Uh, why you look at me like that? Wow. Well, I know that you lost your memory, but still, some part of me was hoping that it's not true. Guessing by the look on your face, you really don't remember me. Alright, well, I'm Alice, um, your girlfriend. Yes. Um, we've been together for six years now and we live together. Um, we have this little apartment we both used to love a lot. Yeah, used to. Um, do you need anything? I bought you some fruits and some hygiene stuff. Uh, okay, well, you have my number. It's in your phone. If you need anything, just call me. I'll be back tomorrow. I promise. Bye. At this point, I don't even know why we're still together anymore. Seriously, you just make decisions on your own, despite the fact that we're in a relationship. And we promised each other to deal with our problems together. I'm being a control freak. I can't believe you. First you got us into this mess, and now you're wondering why I'm upset? You can't be serious. I'm yelling because I care. Do you have any idea how hard this has been on me? Not a single night have passed that I haven't thought about tomorrow. And you want to complain that I care too much? You know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe all of this was a mistake. I really don't have to deal with this. No! Let me go! I don't want to talk to you anymore! Let me go! Hey, are you right? Seems like you had a pretty bad dream. Here, drink some water. I mean, you've been through a lot of stress. Nightmares are completely normal. It'll take time for you to go back to normal life. Excuse me, I hope I didn't interrupt anything. Detective wants to talk about what happened. They don't remember anything. How are they expecting to answer any questions? They completely understand your situation. And if you're not willing to talk about it, it's fine. But eventually, you'll have to. After all, this accident... We'll give them a call. Alright then. You really want to know what happened to you? I don't want to trigger anything. Maybe it's too early for you to know that. 
you think it will help you to remember? All right. You got into a car accident. It was a huge storm and I think your car got out of your control and you drew it off the bridge. It happened basically in the middle of nowhere so there wasn't any witnesses. I was able to track your location and get there but when I got there you were already buried in a car. Hey, are you okay? You're starting to remember that? That's so fortunate. I'm so glad to hear that. Oh, I'm sorry. I apologize. I still need to remind myself that you see me as a stranger. Oh, it's very late. I should get going. I have work tomorrow, but after work, I will come to see you, okay? Rest well. Good night. They need to know to not mess with us. I'll take care of this. You think I want to hurt them like that? I have no choice but take care of the problem myself. Oh, oh honey, you're home. You're hungry? Why look at me like that? Is something wrong? Excuse me, excuse me. Good morning. I was passing by and I saw you walking in a garden. How are you feeling today? That's good to hear. Don't forget to take your medicine and I think tomorrow we'll let you go. Yes, you can tell your girlfriend that. I'm sure she will be excited for you. I must say, she seems like a very sweet young woman. You okay? Alright, I'll get going now. Have a nice day. There you are. I've been looking for you everywhere. Decided to enjoy this weather? You know, our tradition would be to always go on picnics during springtime. Yep, together in nature. Speaking of which, have you ate already? No, let's go grab something to eat, shall we? You know, I don't understand why people hate hospital food so much. It's really not that bad. What do you think? It's okay. Well, I mean, obviously it's not five-star hotel, but come on. It's really not that bad. <laughs> oh, that's a pickle. You, you hate them. Honestly, I don't know why either. <laughs> um, you okay? Memories are coming back? 
Oh, okay. Well, if you don't want to, you don't have to tell me. <laughs> Let's just eat. Good news. We are letting you go today. Wait, really? Oh, that's wonderful. Did you hear that? You'll finally be able to go home. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna help you pack. Come on. Well, I took some days off so I could be able to be here for you because I don't think you want to be alone right now. Oh! <laughs> what that guy's doing? Oh my god! Oh. That was close! Are you okay? Jesus! Psychos are everywhere these days. Home sweet home. Does it feel familiar? Really? Well, I'm gonna make something to eat. Oh? You... <laughs> Sorry, you... you want to help me? I mean, sure, but it's... like, are you gonna be okay with your injuries and stuff? Okay. Alright, that is cooking very well. How are you doing with those onions? Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. You don't want to start crying, so you have to wet the knife. It is a good idea, and actually, you were the one who taught me that. Yep, I remember you would tell me how to cook. And I would come from behind you like that, wrap my hands around you, and feel your body vibrating as your words leaving your mouth. Every time I'd be with you, I wouldn't even be scared of anyone or anything. Especially nothing. <laughs> Never mind. I will get the pork off the fridge. Hmm? What's that stain on the carpet? Oh, don't worry. It's it's not blood. It's wine. I tried everything to remove that stain. Long story short, I think we will need a new carpet. You okay? You've been acting very weird, but I guess, considering circumstances, it's not a surprise. So, you can sleep in our bed and I'll sleep on the couch because I don't want to pressure you on remembering anything, so... Are you, are you sure? Because I can sleep on the couch just fine, really. Well, okay. <laughs> it's nice to finally have you back home. Sure, ask me anything. Where... where was I on the night of the accident? I was at the house. But let's not talk about this. I'm very tired. Let's just sleep. Good night.
So today we have this beautiful festival going on in the city. Would you like to come? Okay, great. Give me some time to get ready. And I should be done in about half an hour. <laughs> Uh, isn't it pretty? I love medieval festivals. It brings me some sort of sense of comfort. Hard to explain. Oh, and this is where we would always go to. Yep, horses. You spent hours upon hours horse riding. So, shall we go? stay here forever. What are you looking at? Oh no. It's them. Hurry! Let's get back to the festival. Don't ask no questions. I will explain later. Hurry! Let's go! They have a gun! Hurry! Okay. I can't believe that they were still on our asses. <sighs> well, let's just sit down first. In our past, we were involved with very bad people. That's actually how we met. As long as we were doing what they asked us to do, we had everything we could ever want it. As the time went by, we decided to leave that circle and move on with our lives. They didn't like that at first, but at the end, they let us go. I mean, you don't really want to tell anybody that you were involved with the mafia and... You have a criminal record. Anyways, since we weren't a part of their group, there was no reason for them to support us financially. So they cut us off and we were on our own. They knew how hard it was for us to get by. So they kept asking if we wanted to come back. Suddenly, we both kept declining their offer. During last weeks before your accident, we were having some financial problems. You decided to borrow money from them. You didn't ask me about it. I was frustrated with everything at that point. I was tired. If I could have changed the way I reacted, I would, trust me. What? No. No, I didn't agree with that offer. I was too busy thinking of ways to return the money so they would leave us alone. What, you think I'm lying? I would never do that to you. You are my everything. Please, if you let me explain, you will understand that I'm not lying or pretending. Who are you? Hey, what are you doing? Don't, don't hurt them. Hey, let me go. Hey, 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 wake up. Wow. So they were talking the truth. You really don't remember anything. 
This is fascinating and creepy at the same time. Anyways, my name's Kat. Spelled like a cat, but with a K. What am I doing here? Well, despite saving your ass, which, by the way, you're welcome. I'm here to help you to save your girl. Yeah, usually you wouldn't need me, but since your memory is a little bit messed up right now, we don't really have much choice. I don't know if you remember, but I'm very close friend to both of you. And it hurts me to watch you dealing with all of this crap alone. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> she loves you more than anything in this world. And you honestly believe that she would have betrayed you like that? She wouldn't trade you for anything in this world. Oh. You think that right before the accident she was talking about hurting you on the phone with somebody. Child. <laughs> she was talking to me. We were talking about... If Big Daddy, aka our boss, is going to do anything to you, she's going to kill him herself. We knew that something is coming since you weren't planning on giving back the money you borrowed from them. You mess with the wrong people. So now when you know the truth, are we going to work together? Who was the one that caused the accident? It was definitely not the big daddy himself. It's probably his right hand, Simone. She is the type of person that would do anything to hurt your girlfriend. Because she despised her entire being. Not sure why, to be honest. So, are you ready to go? I got everything we'll need. That's the spirit. Let's go! While you were knocked out, I looked her location and it's quite far, so it will take some time before we get there, so buckle up. Why did they take her? Well, Simone found out somehow that she's planning to do something to boss, and if you know anything about Mafia, they really don't take that lightly. Oh, I can guarantee you that if she's in Simone's hands, it won't be so pretty, and I assure you, that sick bitch enjoys every moment of it. That night, both of you were arguing pretty bad. I don't think both of you were in the right mind. You guys were very frustrated with this situation. I remember her telling me that she did say things she didn't mean. I honestly can't believe that out of anger she smashed that wine bottle that I gifted her for Christmas I'm still salty about that, by the way. You guys were wild. But hey, she loves you a lot. And she will do the same for you. Oh, it looks like we're here. Are you ready? Take this and this. I can guarantee you that you will need one. Come on, let's go. What do you mean you don't know how to use a gun? Did that left your memory as well? Jesus, it's really not that difficult. You just gotta click it. Uh, Simone, 
<laughs> we had no idea that you were in here. Really? Um, can we see Alice? Come, just keep it calm. Everything's gonna be okay. So, I heard that you lost your memory. So you really don't remember anything. Pity. You and I used to have lots of fun together. <laughs> Go. She's in there. Still alive, unfortunately. Alice! What are you doing here? Get out of here. What do you mean we're here to save you? <laughs> save her. Oh, no, 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 baby. She's dying in this cage tonight. But please, stay for the show. I'm sure it's gonna be the show of your lives. Wait! Don't do anything! Please put the gun down! Why? Let them make their own decisions. They lost their memory, but that doesn't make them incapable of their own choices. I'll tell you what. You shoot me and I blow her brains out with my gun. No, please, put your guns down. So what is it gonna be? Boss. I did what you told me. Alice is here. But boss, how can you give them a second chance of joining us? Let me just kill them. Fine. I'll release her. Thank you, sir. No! You don't deserve to be with this family. Go catch her! Hey, honey. <coughs> Thank you for coming back for me. B but I think I won't be able to make it. I'm not as strong as you. Hey, it's okay. You don't remember that, but my life wasn't exactly perfect. But when I met you, it all changed. <laughs> you are everything to me. Promise me one thing. You'll never go back to this lifestyle. My death is going to be a way of paying our debt. This way, you'll be able to have a life you deserve. I love you. Happy birthday, honey. Mm -hmm. Make a wish. You don't need to be a kid to make a birthday wish. Come on. Honey, I don't think you're supposed to tell me your wish. It might not come true. Your wish is to remember this moment forever? <laughs> I'm sure you will. Also, I got another present for you. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs>